Hello class, it is time for art. And today we're gonna do art project number 10. So um, what you're gonna need, in your number 10 bag, you have three little containers of paint. And um, you should have gotten a note that you might that you need a rock or two paint on. So you're going to need your paint number 10 in the number 10 bag. You're going to need your rocks. You're going to need a little thing of water to rinse your brushes off in. Scoot it back so you can see it. You're going to need a second small container of water. And then you're going to need another small container that's empty. So we have three containers. One, two of them have water, and then one is empty. One water is for rinsing off your brush between colors. One water will be mixing in this other cup with some glue, and we're going to make our own homemade Mod Podge. It'll be a good thing to learn how to make because they want a lot of money for it in the craft store, and you can do it real simple at home just using Elmer's glue. So, I didn't have a paint number 10 because I have my little box of paints. Some of you might have some of these paints left over from this summer, and you can use those if you want more colors. All right, we have our craft supply bag. Out of my craft supply bag, I'm going to get my Elmer's glue. And I need to pull out my brushes. I have two brushes, so I'm going to use one for paint and one for putting my Mod Podge on my rock when I'm all done. If you have two brushes, that would be good to use. If you only have one, then just use the one you have. I kind of think I gave everybody a few brushes, but it's been a while. So, um, Another thing you're going to want to pull out of your bag is a marker. Um, preferably like a darker colored marker because you want it to show up or two markers one dark and one light depending on what color you paint your rock because we're gonna write little messages on our rocks little kindness messages so that is going to be our theme today our theme is making kindness rocks so we are gonna paint some rocks and then we're gonna put on some kind messages and then we can give them to friends. We can go hide them in front of somebody's house so they can find it. You can give it to your mom or your helper to like put in their garden. So anyway, lots of options today. So I'm gonna give your helpers a few minutes to get all the supplies, one, two containers of water, one empty container, and if you have them, one, two paintbrushes, a felt pen for writing, and your Elmer's glue, and of course, your paints. While we're waiting for your helpers to find those, and I am using a piece of newspaper because I know that painting rocks can be really messy. So if your helper wants to get you some newspaper or a paper bag or something to put your project on, Unless they just want to wash off your counter, and that's that's fine, too. So while we're waiting for your helpers to gather all these items that you need, including the rocks, if you forgot about the rocks, now's a good time for your helper to run out and grab you one. You might want to rinse it off and wipe it off a little because you can't really paint over dirt too well. So while we're waiting, let's go ahead and we'll do some exercises. So put your hands down by your sides and lift them up, turning your palms up towards the ceiling and clap over your head. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Raise your hands and clap over your head. Hands down, palms up, and one more time clapping over our heads. Good job. Now we're gonna do a stretch. So you're gonna reach with one hand behind your shoulder and just kind of pull your arm over and give your shoulder a little bit of a stretch. 
I like to kind of count to myself so I know how long I've been doing it. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, that was a good stretch. Now I'm going to reach over and grab my other shoulder and I'm going to stretch my other arm. So if you've got your arm, let's let's kind of hold on to it and let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Very, very good. I hope that your shoulders feel nice. Now I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to put them together and I'm going to push. I'm going to use all my muscles. I'm going to push really hard. And I'm, again, I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Now I'm going to make little C's with my hands and I'm going to do one upright C and one upside down C and I'm going to pull. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I'm going to push. One, two, three, four, and five. Make my little C's with my hands again and I'm gonna pull. One, two, three, four, five. One more time of pushing, pushing, one, two, three, four, five. And one more time, making the little C's with our hands and pulling. One, two, three, four, five. You did such a great job. I want you to give yourself a great big hug and squeezing, squeezing, a nice big bear hug. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Now we're going to take three cleansing breaths. We're going to breathe in through our nose like smelling a flower and out through our mouth like blowing out a candle. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Very good. All right, by now, I hope all your helpers have the items that you need for painting your rock. And so I'm going to get started. If you're still waiting on supplies, that's okay. Just You can just watch, you'll catch up. It's an easy project today. So I'm gonna open my paints. And I'm going to pick some colors. I think I want to do a yellow rock and maybe a red rock. And maybe a green rock. Those are the colors I'm going to pick. The red, the yellow, and the green. I know you have like purple and orange. And I think some of you have blue. So you can get you can grab those colors to paint your rocks. So I'm going to take my little brush and I'm going to pick a rock. I'm probably going to paint a few rocks because I have a whole bunch. I went and gathered up a bunch of rocks just because I thought it would be fun to do some rocks and then like hide them at friends and neighbors' houses with kind messages on them. So I'm going to just paint the top of my rock like this. So I'm just rubbing my paint with my brush all over the top of my rock till it's all covered. Some people use white. White is really a nice color because your felt pen will show up really good on white. I didn't have any in my color box. So maybe in the future I can do some white rocks. All right. All right. So I've got one of my rocks painted. I painted it yellow. 
and then I'm going to put it down on my newspaper so I don't get my table all messy. So I'm going to set it there so it can dry. I'm going to rinse off my brush in my one, first cup of water because I don't want to really get my colors all mixed up. My yellow paint is really sticking to my brush. I don't know why. It's a sticky yellow color, I guess. There we go. It's kind of funny that my yellow didn't want to come off. All right, so I'm done with my yellow. So now I'm going to get my red. And I'm going to paint a little rock red. This one's kind of a fun shape. It's not very flat, but I can maybe write a word on the front of it. So not, not all my rocks at my house are flat, so. I tried to find some kind of flat ones and then I just picked some other ones that I just thought might be big enough to write something kind on. So. We'll see if I go to my friends' houses and hide these in the front in their flower beds if they'll notice, when, see when they'll notice them. I think that'll be a fun surprise for them to find later and they'll be like, who put this rock with this nice Nice words on it in my yard. Oops. My rock just kind of took off. This one's kind of hard to hold on to. If you drop your rock, don't worry about it. You can just pick it up again, and I bet your helpers can get you some paper towels to wash, wipe your hands off if you're getting paint all over you like I am. So it's just a little paint. It's not an emergency. Don't need to get upset over a little bit of paint on the fingers. Okay, so now I have a red rock. Now I'm not painting the whole thing red, just the top, because who's gonna see the bottom? Nobody, nobody's gonna see the bottom. It'll be sitting on the ground or in the dirt. All right, so I have my red, I have my yellow, I gotta rinse again, and I'm gonna do one more. You might only have one rock and that's fine because while I'm finishing painting up my rock, your rock has time to dry because we need them to be dry before we can write nice things on them. And sometimes it takes a little bit for your rock to get dry. So, could maybe blow on them. But you know, while our rocks are drying before we do our next step, I have a good story for you that we're going to read, and it's about being kind. It's called Try a Little Kindness. And when I read it, I'll get closer to the camera so you can see all the pictures and all the nice kind things it says. Because this is about making kindness rocks and being kind to others. I think at this time, while we all are stuck at home and we can't go to school and we can't hang out with our friends and we can't like go to gym and the stuff that we like to do that's a really good time for us to practice being kind to each other because it's hard for everybody everybody could use a little extra kindness right now so we're going to make our kind rocks here well i couldn't quite get all my red off i don't need as much water as i have i'm going to pour a little bit on there we go. A little bit of my water off my brush because I want my rocks to dry and if I'm using wet brush, it'll take longer. Okay, I have one more kindness rock. I have chosen a green one. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. Kindness rocks are great. If somebody gives you one, you can keep it. Or you can share it with somebody else that you think might need a little kindness. 
That's a good thing about a kindness rock. Lots of people can get a lot of kindness out of just one rock by sharing it. Okay. Now I have a green kindness rock. Now I have a green one, so I'm gonna set it there to dry. I'm gonna wipe my painty fingers off on my paper here. So I don't, I'm gonna dip in my water a little bit. i do a little wash. This um, book is actually one I borrowed from a friend, so I don't wanna risk getting paint on their book because that would not be very kind. Here's your book back with paint all over it. So I want to be a kind friend and return things the way they're given to me. All right. So while our rocks are drying, and hopefully you've got your rocks all painted. I'm going to blow mine a little bit. They look pretty wet. They really are wet. All right, so let's read our story. Gives them just a little bit more time to dry. And um, we might need to wait a little longer for our rocks to get all dry. So um, if mine are still wet, I'm going to use this plain rock and I'll write on it. And you can see the words you're going to write. And I'll do a little of the decoupage. But for now, let's read a story about trying a little kindness. Try a Little Kindness by Henry Cole. I'm trying to make sure that you can see it. A smile to greet the morning, a hug to greet each day. A thank you and a yes, please, are things that you should say. Our animal friends will show you exactly how it's done. Make it a daily habit. Kindness can be fun. Wake up with a smile. Rise and shine. Be the last one in line. Don't take cuts. Invite someone over to play with you. That's hard right now with the COVID to have somebody come over and play, but you know what? You can always wave at your friends from a distance. People love it when you say hi, even if you can't get close. These are people playing, having dessert. You can have, you can do some fun things with the people you live with. You can play a game. You can read a story. You can put the dirty dishes in the sink, all kinds of kind things. Share your toys. Maybe somebody else is at your house and you have a special toy. Maybe you can let them borrow it for a little bit. You'll feel so special inside. Try some kindness every day. A smile, a joke, or something else. Come on, don't you want to play? I have some students that have some pretty good jokes. Tell someone they are special. Makes people feel good inside when you tell them that they're special. And if somebody tells you that you are special, makes you feel good inside too. Be a great ally. I think that's just another word for helper. Write a poem for someone. You can tell them the poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm so glad I have a helper like you. Praise someone's work. Say, good job. Hold the door open. That's always a kind thing to do. 
share your seat, or pick up the trash. Don't just leave it sitting there. Pick it up and put it in the garbage. That will make your parents, friends, and helpers very happy. Visit someone who's lonely. Maybe, since we can't go see people right now, you could make a phone call, or you could make them a nice card if they're lonely. Tell them that you're thinking about them. I know you think we did it, but our job is not quite done. We need to keep on going. Being kind is so much fun. So the fish is asking the octopus, can I help you carry in the groceries? A bug is offering to help a lizard who lost his tail. Bug said, I'll help sew that back on. And a mouse wants to help a poor snake that's tied up in a knot. They're being helpful. Read to your friends or your helpers. Everybody likes a good story. Don't I look ducky? Ooh, you got a new jacket. Write thank you notes or say thank you. People love to hear it. Do something unexpected. Do a chore without asking. Make your bed without asking. Put your clothes in the laundry without asking. Sometimes that's unexpected. It makes people happy. Take a selfie with friends. Or send a selfie to your friends. When evening has come and it's time to go to bed, you brush your teeth and wash your feet and make sure your fish is fed. You may not have fish, but maybe you have another pet you can feed. Think of new good deeds to do and some nice things to say. Then you'll know why kindness counts and look forward to each day. The end. That was a good story about kindness. That story should give you a lot of ideas about different things you can do to be kind. So I'm checking my rocks and they're still pretty wet. So I'm gonna take my plain rock that I haven't painted yet and I'm gonna write a message. Let's see, oh, I know, I'll do this. I'm going to put on a big letter U. Okay, I'm going to hold this up to the camera real close so you can read it. I wrote, you rock. The letter U in the word rock, because it was a little tiny space. You rock. That's another way of saying, I think you're pretty cool or you're really special. Okay, so now I'm going to make the Mod Podge. I'm going to take my container and I'm going to squirt some glue in it. Hopefully my glue will work. Okay, my glue's coming out. All right, I think that's all I need for right now. Okay, now I'm going to take my, I have this much glue. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it's hard to see because glue is white and so is my container. Um, for you helpers out there, I think I put in about a teaspoon or two of glue. I'm going to dip my glue brush in my water because I don't want to put too much water in it. And now I'm going to kind of drip in here and I'm going to stir it up just so my glue is a little bit runnier that's what Mod Podge is. It's just a basically runny glue that you can put on stuff. 
now that I've mixed up my Mod Podge, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put it on my rock that I wrote on. And I'm going to start by just kind of going up and down with my brush. Because if I do too much rubbing, I'm afraid I'll ruin my letters. And now I'll just brush some across. And those of you who come tomorrow to art class will see when it dries, it'll dr this is going to dry. Right now it looks cloudy, but when it dries, it'll be clear. And it'll just be a little shiny cover on top of your rock. And what that will do is with your painted rocks, once you cover them up with this Mod Podge, it'll seal them so if they're outside and they get rained on, the color on your rock and your message will stay on your rock that you give to somebody. So that's all I have for today. So when I, when uh, later when your rocks are dry, maybe your helper can help you write a special message. You could, they can help you write, you rock, you're special, you're nice. Even just the word thoughtful or the word kind, the word special or unique. Any of those are really great words to put on a rock. You can even say, I like you if you have a big enough rock. Or you can say, I love you if it's a family member or somebody you're really, really close to. So, ooh, I got, now I got paint on me. <laughs> All right. Well, that's all we have for art class today. I hope you had fun making this friend rocks and that you'll get them finished with your helpers and that you'll have fun giving them out and hiding them to make other people feel special. Thank you. You guys rock. And I'll see you next time. Bye.